YouTube, hello! It's not so super friends here with another check-in video. Um, you guys really enjoyed the one for January, so we're doing it again. Um, so for those that are new to the channel or not sure what this is, this is basically a monthly video where I will stand for like half an hour and just talk about the channel, you know, videos I've put out, what's worked well, what's not worked so well, and just kind of give my takes. Um, so yeah, like since the last check-in, I had a thousand subs, which is unreal. So thank you guys for that, and we're actually pretty close to 1,100 already. So we're kind of ticking up in that regard, which is awesome to see. Um, been, the channel's been doing pretty well, the shots continue to do super well, and this check-in is probably going to be a little bit shorter. The first one, one was like half an hour, it might be the same, it might be shorter, who knows. Um, but yeah, quite a bit to talk about in this one, because um, obviously we've had the videos go out, we've had... This month's been a little bit more streamlined with the content and it's it's been a bit of an up and down one. Um, I'll kind of talk about it later on um, with regards to one of the games. Like one of the games that I was doing is definitely going. If you've got me in Twitter, you've seen. Um, so we're just going to talk about the channel. Uh, that's a bit. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about every single video in depth. If there's maybe a video in particular with a series that's really jumped out at me, I'll talk about it. And, um, just kind of, if it's worked great, I'll say why and things like that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much me just being transparent, you know, and you get a pair of face to the voice, if, particularly if you're on YouTube channel, if you've subbed in the last month or so. So, let's start off with Skyrim. So Skyrim has been the Tuesday uploads and overall since the last check-in, it's had some really, really good videos. Um, two of them hit 200 views, which was the Dragonborn and the Mad Lad Crew Foreman episodes. Those two, phenomenal. Like, they really, really did kick on. Um, and they've been the best Skyrim videos to date. Um, so I think they just worked well, because I think now I'm starting to kind of get into a good kind of way with Skyrim. Uh, the most recent video though, don't know what's happened with it, but YouTube has just not pushed it out. Um, so I think it's more a YouTube issue more than anything because usually my Skyrim's like good banker content you know it's good to get guaranteed views but this recent episode I really do not know what's happened um so I'm a bit kind of deflated with it but um I'm gonna stick at it with Skyrim because I'm enjoying it too much so because uh usually with Skyrim like the two episodes that done really well got surge they had a massive surge in impressions like straight off the bat basically the Skyrim episode that went out this week on Thursday no, Tuesday. Um, it went out and in two days got like 500 impressions, which is very rare. Usually with Skyrim, they get a good set amount of impressions in a couple of days, usually a thousand plus. So uh, I think the two episodes that done well hit like 2K in two days. So this the, the recent Skyrim's had about a quarter of the reach, which I'll be honest, I'm not sure as to why. I think, as I said, I think it's more YouTube. Sometimes YouTube can be really weird and just gloss over things and just not push it out. Because uh, the watch time on that video was actually all right. Um, it got a good few hours. So usually if the watch time's good, it gets pushed. So I don't know what happened there. Then we had the Buy Mutant episode go out on Thursday and Buy Mutant's been a bit of a rubbish series. I'll put it that way. And it got like 500 versions in an hour. So I'm like, make it make sense. So. That's kind of my take. <laughs> uh, so with Skyrim, it's going to be back for March. I, as I said, I really enjoy doing it. They are fun videos. I do have some ideas. If I think I've actually got all my Skyrim videos planned, and I'm going to start recording next week. So I think I talked in one of the videos about doing an episode. So if you've seen this episode, if you haven't had a look at it, go check it out because it is a very funny episode. Um, but in that episode, I got a spell called uh, Ejector Force which is basically like the first radar shout, except you don't get fined. So you can use it, launch people, and if you kill someone with it, uh, you don't get fined. And I believe the episode coming up this week, the the episode this week, I uh, do the Thieves Guild, probably one of the funniest videos in the series. Like definitely top three, like purely because the Ejector Force, it made it an absolutely amazing video. So I do want to do an episode, Skyrim 
So it's not going to be any quest lines or things like that. It's basically just going to be me with the Ejected Force spell going around Skyrim causing havoc and just launching people for the hell of it. Because that would make a really entertaining episode. I'd, it just, it's fun. Like, because, um, put it this way, like, in the episode I've got coming out on Tuesday, there is a bit where I just go nuts with it and I send someone flying over a railing and um, they may have been unalived as a result of that <laughs> um, and it, I'm just sitting I'm just going like my mad lad crew's just kind of sitting standing a bit and we're going we were never here right we were not here and then someone walks by and it's like we weren't here I just send them flying and it is absolutely amazing so please please watch the new Skyrim when it comes out and choose to it's Honestly, it's one of the funniest episodes I think I've made. I, I remember coming, and that episode I think took a couple of tries because I accidentally broke it. Because uh, with the Thieves Guild, there's a quest where you have to get money off people, and I accidentally killed one of them with the Wabajack. And if you kill the Wabajack, they don't register as dead. So I had to redo that entire quest, which was fun. But I made it better in the second attempt. So keep an eye out for Skyrim on Tuesday. It's a good laugh. So, as I say, Skyrim will be coming back. So probably going to continue on with Thieves Guild, uh, Dark Brotherhood I'm definitely doing, I'm doing a Force Ejector episode because we need to do that, it, it's only right. Um, so on to the next series, Biomutant. Oh boy, where do we begin with Biomutant, where do we begin? Um, ow, I just hit myself in the teeth. Thanks headphones, thanks, love that. Uh, even my own headphones hit me. Uh, so yeah, Biomutant. <laughs> Where do we begin? <laughs> um, I know the series has been rubbish. Like, I will be completely honest, Biomutant just hasn't been working. If you've seen me in Twitter, you've probably seen me announced. Biomutant is not continuing. Um, and I'll kind of go into why. So if you've seen the most recent episode, which gathering by YouTube, not a lot of people have. Um, the most recent episode, you could kind of tell I was starting to hate the game. Um, so, for the recent episode, I'm not going to give away like spoilers to the fight, but in that episode, I fight Lupa Lupin. That fight is super hyped up, and it kind of fell victim to it. It got overhyped, the fight got overhyped, and it just, I kind of finished that bit feeling a bit kind of unfulfilled. Um, and as the episode went on, you could tell I was starting to kind of not enjoy it. Um, like, the combat in Biomutant is good, but everything else is average. Like, it is absolutely awful. Um, like, the story is not really that engaging. The kind of... The, na the narrative is quite jarring, like, and the kind of dialogue is just, like... So they can describe an elevator as an up, up, down, down. And I sat there and I went, up, up, down, down, don't you mean an elevator? And then there was a telephone box and he called it Pling, Pling, Plong. Like, so I'm sitting there and it's like, this is just jarring to hear. And then it was one of the episodes, I think it was last week's episode, where I met Mook, who is a Munster hunter. So I think you could tell, like at that point I'm getting to the, like, it just started getting jarring. I just stopped enjoying it. Like, it was taking references from other media and it just, I feel as if you have to take references from other media to make a half decent game, it's probably not a good game. So, Biomutant will not be continuing. Um, and I've got one more episode coming out this week, this Thursday coming. Um, once that video is out, uh, I think I even seen the video that this is likely the last one. So, once the episode's out, Biomutant has come to an end. Like, I know I have the process of like shelving videos or shelving like games for fire and scene if they come back. This is probably not coming back unless it has like a really big turnaround. But as a whole, the series just hasn't worked. Um, I think it's also down to the game's just not popular. Like, the because, I mean, it released in, I think it was September 2022, and it's just, the the hype for it came and gone. I remember, I think it was Rainer Bayes uh, streamed it, and I think he played it for literally an hour, hour, hour and a half, and uninstalled it because it was that awful. So, 
I can kind of see why Ray kind of struggled with it because it just felt so slow. Um, so yeah, Bio Mutant, gone. On to the one-offs. So we've had two one-offs released. The next one, which is Dark Souls, that will release. Um, so this video is going to be up Saturday. This will be out. The Dark Souls will be out Sunday. So this is the level one challenge that I kind of got started and it was a very fun episode. Um, like I'm not going to go into details, but it was very fun. Um, and I actually quite enjoyed it. So it's not going to be in March's lineup, but it could be in April's depending on other videos and also as well I've got to announce um, the what's going ahead for March because uh, I've been kind of teasing it on Twitter for the past few days um, so I'll kind of talk about that so we had two one-offs come out we had the Outer Worlds and Kingdom Come Deliverance both videos actually done very very well um, I, they actually surpassed my own expectations I thought if they got like 100 views or like even like 80 views I thought they would have done brilliant. Uh, Out of Worlds, I think, got about 150 plus, and Kingdom Come Deliverance is almost at 150. And I will say both videos were very, very well done for me. I think um, I quite enjoyed doing them. So Out of Worlds done better on the view side of things, but permitting that is a week older. Kingdom Come Deliverance done better on the watch time side of things, and. I actually didn't realise this when I released the KCD video, but the day after it went out, it was actually announced that KCD had actually celebrated five years of release. So I did not plan that. <laughs> like I genuinely did not know that, but there you go, five years for Kingdom Come. Um, and yeah, like as I said, the video actually done very, very well. So with that in mind, I, so for March, I'm nearly falling over here, the lineup for March. So there's going to be 13 uploads for games in March. That's excluding bonus and this video. Um, there's going to be, so Skyrim's continuing. Tuesday slot's going to be Skyrim. That's going to be four episodes. So that's a definite, like, that's not going to change. Thursdays is going to be, in fact, no, I'll tell you Sunday first. Sunday is going to be Final Fantasy XIV. I've talked a lot about wanting to do 14 content again. I've got some ideas down. I'm going to do like achievement hunting in it. Um, just to kind of pass time. And plus 14 is quite good content to watch. Um, like even if it's just like chill. Um, so that's going to get four episodes. The game on Thursday. So this was between Outer Worlds and KCD. The winning game. So again, I'll kind of go into details why. Thursdays. It's going to have five episodes, and that game is going to be Kingdom Come Deliverance. So KCD is going to be taken forward into a full series. Um, main reasons. One, it done a lot better on the watch time by a considerable margin compared to Outer Worlds. It, like, they both done well in terms of watch time, but KCD was just that a little bit better. And also, for me personally, it just feels right to do KCD because it has just celebrated five years, so the game's going to be talked about again a little bit. Because um, Warhorse Studios put out a video saying about five year anniversary, so it's kind of a big deal. Um, and as I said, like the game itself, once you kind of get into the open world, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. Um, not to say that Outer Worlds was terrible, I actually quite enjoyed the Outer Worlds, but I think the kind of idea for Outer Worlds can get a little bit stale quick, and I feel like it's not quite... You don't quite get into the open world as sharp because with Outer Worlds you have other planets but getting to them you need to be a high level and it's a bit of a pain whereas Kingdom Come Deliverance I can kind of once I get past the prologue so I'm probably going to do another Scarlet's episode and kind of mess about there and then so in fact I've got the episode titles here so the first upload in March will be in the second and that's going to be KCD, but Henry is a terrible human. We're going to keep that thing going, because that's fun. Uh, so that's going to be another Scarlet's episode. And then episode, then on the 9th will be KCD, but Henry destroys Scarlet's. So that'll be me finishing Scarlet's um, and getting to Tamburg. And then... Um, so... Yeah, so 16th will be Henry goes to Tamburg, and that'll probably be me either kind of reaching Tamburg or kind of I'll be in it and I'm just gonna basically do the Scarlet stuff in the Tamburg this time and then 
So we'll have Tamburg episode. 23rd will be Henry gets mugged. That'll be me escaping Tamburg and that'll finish the prologue and then by the 30th, which is the end of March, by the 30th we should be on to Rate and then the world's open. Like the world's my oyster, I can do what I want. So I do have some ideas for KCD and I think for me personally I'll probably enjoy it more because I said it in the video, KCD was my second most played game last year and for those curious Final Fantasy 14 was my most played at like 2000 hours or something um, and Kingdom Come came in at like 70 odd so you can tell what I like um, in the game side of things. Uh, so that is pretty much the reasons why I feel as if I'll enjoy it more and I feel as if the world's a bit better in that. Plus it's a glitchy buggy mess and I said this in video as well. KCD has a charm. It has a charm to that kind of oblivion and that it's a glitchy buggy mess but there's a comfort in it and that's why I enjoy KCD because you can mess about in it and it's just so much fun. Um, like because I mean I've done like a stream of it and like my channel uh, on my Twitch channel which I'll talk about as well now that I remember. Um, so I want to give KCD a try for a month. It might go well, it might not go well. We'll see. Um, but Outer Worlds isn't going to go away. I may do a bonus episode. Um, that's something else I've got to mention. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. I've done a bonus episode of 14. That ended up being my most freaking watched video of this month. I'm not even joking. Like, um, I'll go into detail. Right. Because 14, we need to talk. YouTube, we need to talk with this. Um, so yeah, KCD, that's going to happen. That's going to get five episodes. So, we need to talk about Final Fantasy XIV. I put out a bonus video because, so if you follow me on Twitter and you know me in Final Fantasy XIV, I've been trying to get a house in that game for freaking months, right? It has been hell. This has been the house in hell. This has been my ultimate. This has been my top. Okay, everyone else is doing the Omega Protocol and zooming out and hacking. If you're in the community, you'll get that reference. Um, but yeah, I finally got a house in Final Fantasy XIV after months of trying. It was hell. Um, I kid you not, the process that I went through to get this fucking thing was outrageous. So I spent days in game running around every single housing ward and listing every single house that was up and then I would spend like four hours of my day running around every ward checking the houses. If I had a bid, it was getting scored off the list. I done that until Saturday, so I think the lottery started Tuesday and it finished the Sunday. I spent Tuesday to Saturday running around and then I made a bid on the Saturday and I prayed it held and it did. So you got the house tour video and just want to quickly know ever since that since that video I have redecorated my place like 17 times. Help me, please. I, I have redecorated so so much. Um, so yeah, like... Uh, I finally got the house and yeah the house tour video actually ended up doing really well. Um, it's garnered about 200 views and it's actually my most watched video of the past month so there you go. That's just part of the reason why I want to go to 14 content because it's still a good game to do even if it's chill. Like I remember um, I think I talked about this in the last check-in where I found 14 difficult to make content because if you're not doing the ultimate, if you're not doing savage or like, it's very difficult to do solo. Like, I did kind of put, I, like, a sort of call out to kind of, you know, what could I do? And someone did mention doing old content, like A Realm Reborn. And while it is a nice idea, the problem is by doing A Realm Reborn, a kind of X-Pack that is hours long, like, I could be sitting playing that for months. Like, it could take me six months just to get through a Realm Reborn if I do a video a week. Because I don't want to kind of do multiple videos and stuff like that. It'd just be too... It's too all over the place. Um, so, I'm trying to do kind of more short, sharp stuff in 14. So, I'm doing like achievement hunting. And I've got stuff that I would like to do. I'd like to try and get my comms. So, I'm actually really close to 3,000 comms. I want to get that. And I do want to do Savage and Ultimate. And funnily enough, I actually had a dream last night where I cleared Uwu. And I'm in the dream shouting, I'm a legend! Uh, I don't know why, it's as if my brain's gone, hey Fraz, when are you going to fucking do your ultimate, man? Like, it's like my brain's pretty much getting, even my brain's getting tired of me saying I'm, I want to do an ultimate. My, my brain's gone, Fraz, when are you doing it? So, it will happen. 
I am working on it. I'm working on getting a group. Slowly. It will happen. Just give me, um, five years. Um, but it will happen. Um, so yeah. So with that all done said, like, shots, continue to do well. I think I've gained nearly 100 subs through shots, which is really good still. So we're kind of maintaining that. I'm averaging about three a day through shots. Obviously, some good days, some not so good days. Um, and we're really, really close to 100,000 lifetime views. Um, I think at time recording, we're just under 95,000. So hopefully within the next week, we should hit 100K. Um, and I also want to take a lot of time as well, because on the topic of 14, oh boy, it's been spicy this week. It has been super spicy. Um, so if you haven't seen or heard the whole kind of controversy um, about Final Fantasy 14, well, not really the game itself, but more the community, um, or one notable figure in the community. Um, there was a notable streamer in the community, considered the Han Soul, who played the Wizard game. And for those wondering, am I going to play the Wizard game? No, I made my point in a community post. You're never going to see it in this channel, never. And I'll be honest, like at the end of the day, I'm not going to argue with people who get it because at the end of the day, it's your money. But I think I kind of get the analogy, like of it's like telling little Timmy not to run into oncoming traffic. Um, he knows it's a stupid idea, but he's still going to do it anyway just to spite you. And that's kind of how I felt with Hogwarts Legacy stuff. Um, obviously, as I said, get it if you it's your money, but just don't be surprised if you're no longer welcome in some spaces and I'll openly say I have ended a friendship because someone said that they were getting the game just to piss people off. Now, I don't tend to kind of police folk, I don't tend to tell them all whatever, like, but even this person actually had a couple of people go, dude, if you're getting the game out of spite, that's a bad look and he just doubled down. So I'll be honest, I just ended that friendship. I don't care. Like, if you'd said he was just getting the game, fine, but to to go about pissing people off, deal breaker. Um, that's all I'll say. I'm not going to say any more matter. I, but yeah, I've cut ties with him. So that's just kind of my take. Um, but yeah, the whole 14 streamer that made the comment, like you'll probably know who it is. Um, but yeah, like it was very poorly handled. But I do know that a couple of 14 streamers, um, notably Stahl and I can't say her name right. I think it's Ayanaya. Um, both played the game and they both came out with statements saying that they are now no longer playing it and you know they held their hands up and say that they messed up in playing it um so i kind of respect those two for you know taking the moral high road like and people will say oh they're bending the knee no they made their own decision like they played the game they realized they shouldn't have they made their call they held the hands up they apologized unlike i said another streamer who um yeah like, it was a real, like, I'll be honest, it was a really shitty situation. Like, and of course, now people are twisting it and saying that the 14 community is awful. They're trying to chase this person out. Here's my take on the community, okay? Yes, there are some arseholes in the 14 community. We cannot deny that. But my advice to anyone looking at this situation, let's focus on the good people in the 14 community. There are tons. You've got Emma Lama, Shenpai, me, like I'm a notable streamer in the 14 community, I mean I'm a speedrunner and you know, all that, so like you've got them, Mr. Happy, like so many people in the community, like I, I, there's a few that I don't watch but are brilliant and you know, my advice is let's not focus on this one streamer who made a stupid comment and kind of now has potentially burned bridges with the community that they are so very well ingrained in like i'm not saying that they're gonna get chased out but i would not be surprised like so we've got like things coming up i wouldn't be surprised if they weren't invited given their takes because um 14 has a very big lgbtqia plus community probably one of the biggest in gaming so for them to play the wizard game almost did feel like a bit of a slap in the face to some and I do happen to know people on Twitch who are transgender and you know I kind of sided with them like 
immediately I kind of seen what they were saying and I immediately sided with them so people will have their takes like you'll not see the game on this channel never like if people kind of come at me like just for saying I'm not playing it then put it this way they're the assholes like because I mean at the end of the day it's I've seen gameplay of it it's as if the game tries to be Dark Souls it's like trying to be a magical Dark Souls and well I'm sorry but when you try and copy Dark Souls, it's obvious, and it just doesn't work. Like, there are very, very few good Souls-like games. That reminds me, I've still got Mortal Shell to finish off. Um, I started and never really got far on it. So I might do Mortal Shell at some point. In fact, if you want to see Mortal Shell, let me know in the comments, because I might make that a series, depending. So yeah. In terms of that, so I've said my bit on the whole 14 kind of debate and controversy and all that. But I think at the end of the day, Let's focus on the good people in the community, because there are plenty of them, okay? Plenty of great, great people in the 14 community. Some I call some my closest friends. So, let's focus on them, shall we? And not that of a snidey streamer who decided to make a really stupid comment. So, what's coming up this week? Um, <laughs> I'm kind of, I got really sidetracked. So, we have, let me bring up my page with all my uploads. Um, so today is the 17th. So this week, so as I said, coming on the 19th, so that'll be when the video goes out this week tomorrow, you have Dark Souls, but I'm stuck at level one. That is gonna be a really fun video. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Then on the 21st, you have Skyrim. But the, dark, the Mad Lad crew become Dark Brotherhood Assassins. That's a really funny episode. If I remember like I remember doing it and then I'm kind of like, wait a minute, have I done this before? Then I realised this was the, one of the episodes that I tried to do and then it ended up messing up. So this is a really good episode. I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, then on the 23rd, which is this Thursday, you have your last ever Biomutant. Um, unless it gets uncancelled, but I doubt it. Um, so... Now it's going to be by Mutant 9, and as I said, it's going to be the last one. Then next Sunday, you're going to get a one-off of Stardew Valley. And I'm going to say this quick, um, regarding Stardew, it's very unlikely to be taken forward because the video has been flagged for copyright. Um, and if a video gets flagged, even if the owners are okay, because I've actually checked, the copyright is actually, people are okay with it. But the problem is that like, I can't make shots out of it. So if I'm gonna do Stardew, I'm gonna get copyright flagged every single video. And I just, like at the end of the day, I wanna try and make shots for content. And at the end of the day, I can't do it. If I keep getting flagged for Stardew, it's not gonna happen. So we'll see how Stardew gets on, unless it does like super well, um, but I doubt it. Um, we'll see. And then the last episode for the month is coming on the 28th. And that's going to be Skyrim, but the Mad Lad crew become thieves. So that's Thieves Girls. We're starting that. And that is a very, very good episode. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I think it's one of the funnier ones that I've done. So, let's see. I'm going to bring up the page. So, I'll do like a sort of what has been the best videos of the month. We'll do like a top three. Uh, bah, 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 content type videos. And pretty much for March, my main goal, above all else, is just to try and get the watch time up. Because, um, like, I touched on this in the last kind of check-in. But I think the main problem that I, team, I seem to have with a lot of my videos is... Right, so we've got watch time. So the main problem that I have with a lot of my videos is that people will click on the video, click like and click off, and anyone who's seen my videos will know I actively discourage it. So I'm just gonna say this again. Please, like if you're gonna click into my videos, please click in with the attention that you are gonna watch. If you're gonna click on a video, click like and click off. Don't be that person who's like, oh, why'd your video not do so well? Because I think that's essentially what happened with Skyrim, the latest Skyrim. Like, people clicked in, clicked like, and clicked like, and skedaddled. Like, they didn't even watch it, so... Please try and at least watch the videos, even if it's just like 5-10 minutes of it. I'd rather have that than basically a 10 second watch. Because then it just doesn't help the videos any. 
Um, because I think that's ultimately why bio mutants also suffered. Because I'll say the most recent bio has done awful. Like I don't think it's even broke ten views yet. So that's just kind of my take on it. I know it, some people might say I'm whining, but that's just me giving my honest take. So top three videos of the month in terms of views. Uh, so the top video was Shea Gora Becomes a Dragonborn. That had a lot of views, uh, 266, five, and then a good few hours watch time. Then we had Skyrim, but Shea Gora forms Mad by Crew. So two Skyrim videos making the top three. And the, of course the bonus video, which even surprised me. I didn't think it would do that well. I thought maybe it'd get like 100 odd views. Didn't think it'd get like 200 odd. So it's done well. And it's been very well watched. It's had nearly 10 hours watch. So. So my kind of hope for March is that I can get the watch time up because I think with the amount of videos I upload per month, I need to average, I think, about 28 hours per video if I was to try and go for YouTube Partner. And right now, it's just not getting hit. Like, with the views I'm getting in some of these videos, it's just not getting hit. And I think it's just people not giving the videos a chance, if that makes sense. Like, they go in, they'll maybe see a minute of it and then be like, oh, is this dude still talking? I want gameplay. Like... So that's just my kind of gripe. Please take the time to watch videos. Please don't just click in, click like, and that's you, you've done your bit, like, la da Like, try and at least take the time to watch. And this isn't just for me, it's for any other content creator. Because at the end of the day, views and likes don't tell the entire story. Watch time does. So if a watch time's great in a video, then it means people are enjoying it. Anyone can click like in a video. Anyone can comment on a video. Please take the time, because that's all we ask. All we ask is for your time, your commitment, just to help us. Like, you watch our videos, you're helping us immensely. Clicking like and then going off after 30 seconds, just the videos get pushed down. Because that's what YouTube values now. They value watch time over everything else. So if a video has good watch time, it gets pushed. So, yeah. Other than that, I think that is me for a check-in. Um, I hope uh, this provides a bit more insight. And, yeah, so we'll do another one in March and yeah I'm gonna try and keep this going like try and at least do one sort of check-in video every month because I think this is a good way for me to just kind of engage and connect with the community a bit more and for the newer subs they get a face behind the voice of these incredible videos so just to kind of recap by mutant gone it's going after this month um you're getting four Skyrims, four Final Fantasy XIV on Sundays, and you get five Kingdom Come Deliverance videos. So look out for those in March. Recording will start next week. And yeah, I think that's about it. I think I've covered everything. Um, but yeah, like overall, it's been a solid month. Like January was really good. I wasn't sure if I'm gonna kinda hit the heights of January, but I think we've done okay. Cause usually with YouTube, when you have a really good month, there can be a wee drop off. So I think we've done fairly okay. We've had a couple of videos do really, really well. So it's not been like, it's not been as bad a month as I thought it was gonna be. I thought maybe some videos would do all right, but we've had some do phenomenal. So we are doing well. And as I said, hopefully soon we'll hit 1,100. I think we're like seven off at the moment because I just checked my sub count there and we're like seven away. So hopefully with the shots, That'll help bring more people in, and yeah. And as I said, hopefully for March we get the watch time up a bit better, and who knows? Like, I'm not saying we're gonna hit YouTube partner by the end of the year, but I think we'll bloody well try. Might as well. It gives me something to work towards. So, if you do want to see, like, not so super fries as a YouTube partner, get watching the videos. Like, even have them on, on loop. That's a great help. Like, just sit with the video on for the entire night on loop and just let the watch hours stack. <laughs> right, don't do that, don't do that. Otherwise, YouTube will think I'm inflating. Like, YouTube's very finicky. Like, you could gain like 10 subs in a day and lose all 10 because YouTube's like, you're inflating. But anyway, before I ramble on, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as I said, tomorrow will be Dark Souls, but I'm stuck at level one. It's going to be a fun video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you in the next check-in. Uh, whenever that's going to be, it'll probably be third Saturday every month. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy Dark Souls, enjoy the rest of the videos coming out for the rest of the month. I'll probably be chatting and commenting, stuff like that. Or even better yet, get me on Twitter, get me on Discord. Um, 
Other than that, you chip. Love you. And I'm going to leave you. Not forever, though. Just till the next video, which is tomorrow. Catch you later, my dudes and dudettes, bros, hoes, and non binary amigos. Catch you later.